channel you guys already know who it is it's your girl Falls k and i'm checking back in and this is um cooking with k the flawless way welcome back make some noise y'all ah! i'm playing but yes welcome back and as y'all can see in the title below i'm giving y'all a seafood boil this is my recipe um, so I'm excited to actually do this with you guys and share this with y'all because um, seafood, as y'all know, um, Jordan. I'm excited because if you guys know I'm pescatarian, and seafood is my favorite food to eat, and I'm just excited to share you share with you guys my recipe. Basically, I'm about to show you guys everything that I'm putting in my seafood boil first, and then we'll do the cooking and everything next. So you know my crab legs. I got these from Walmart, and I think it's four clusters. It's like $20. Um, yeah. So it was like $20. That's honestly actually like cheap. Honestly. So I got my crab legs, and I used the jumbo shrimps to put in my seafood. The jumbo shrimps. I got two bags of jumbo shrimps from Walmart. Everything... I got everything from Walmart, y'all. And mind y'all, it's the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm in Walmart, can't find nada because everything sold out and it was still packed. And it's sausage. I don't eat the meat, but people who are eating this, they eat meat. So I put that in there for them. We got my corn on the cob, two, four, six. This is eight corn on the cob. And then I got the red potatoes and then the light potatoes. And then I do have eggs, I already had eggs. Um, they are actually in the refrigerator. I just didn't pull them out because I feel like y'all know it. Um, y'all know eggs. So, oh, and I got butter too before. I got some butter because you're gonna need sticks and sticks of butter to make your sauce. And then also minced garlic. I got this big one because I feel like that's gonna be enough. And you need um, crab boil bag. And also got um, the the sauce because I use both of them. But I got two bags, but I probably only need one. And then the seasonings. <laughs> Honey, the seasonings are gonna make or break you. The seasonings, onion powder, paprika. Okay, every time I think of paprika, y'all, I'm gonna say this right now, I think of the movie This Christmas. She's like, I know exactly where to put the paprika, Keisha or Kelly. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that. She's like, I know exactly where to put the paprika, Kelly, or whatever. Of course, you need Old Bay, lemon pepper seasoning, oregano leaves, um, chili flakes, red pepper chili flakes, cayenne pepper, slap yo mama, boom boom, slap yo mama, and garlic powder. So that, oh, no, wait. And then I'm going to use this to put the boil and everything in. So a pan like this would help, y'all. Um, so that's everything that I am going to use for my seafood boil. I mean, of course, y'all can put crawfish in it, oysters, um, anything else you want to put. This is my basic seafood boil that I'm going to do. And I'm going to walk you guys step by step on everything on how to do it and, you know, what to do. So if this video, it might be a little bit longer than any of my other cooking videos because I don't play about my boils. All right? Yeah, so. And I'm going to show you guys more of the food. So like once I'm like cooking and seasoning, I'm going to hold my camera and show you guys because I want you guys to see like how it's supposed to look, you know? Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to go get all my pots and pans. You're gonna need uh, a few pans, no, I'm sorry, a few pots to boil, because you're gonna boil your corn and your potatoes and your eggs. The corn and potatoes can go together, and you can add the eggs in after. Let me get all my pots and pans, and then I'll be back, and we'll start cooking. Okay, so here I start off with my eggs first. I put them on to boil. I have 10 eggs, and they're gonna boil on high for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna get everything else started to boil as well, and I need to peel my shrimp. So let's see, I'm gonna show y'all my shrimp. Look at my slippers, y'all. 
So this is the shrimp. So we're gonna get those peeled and just get everything else prepped. And I'm gonna set my camera up so you guys can see everything. So let's get started. I can see I have my eggs started here and then I'm gonna start my, my potatoes over here. My potatoes and corn. Potatoes and your corn, that's when you're gonna add these two ingredients in. So, I believe this is the bag and look like i've never seen it look like this before so i'm trying to figure out do i can i put this in the water is what i'm trying to figure out because i ain't never seen this before y'all let me come on uh, i'm about to uh i don't know this can plastic can go in water right hold on i'm about to call my sister okay user malfunction um yeah so this does go in there like that. And before y'all even try to come for me, I've never used the bag like this. The bag I use, it usually looks like come from a teapot. So, boop. Yeah, that one. Okay. And then I'm gonna add this in there too. I'm gonna put some potatoes. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It also will help if I read the directions, but I don't like to read directions. I'm about to copy people. You better stop. Not too much, cause I don't like, I don't, I don't like salt. So look, y'all see what I'm doing? Y'all can see a little bit of salt. Not too, you don't need too much now, cause that's why your feet be swollen, cause you got too much salt in y'all food, and y'all know how to uh, cook. I like potatoes. I'm gonna put two more. I like potatoes. Y'all, I like my potatoes. Like, I like them real, real, real soft and like, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like, that's how I like my potatoes. So I'm gonna boil these potatoes. I'm not gonna add in my corn yet. I'm gonna let this boil like really hot by itself for like 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna add in my corn. No, I'm gonna do five minutes and then add in my corn. But I'm trying to wait for it to boil, boil. And then I'm gonna add this in once the water is like sizzling, like boiling, boiling. Yeah, and then I actually am happy that I grabbed two because you're gonna need this when you boil your, I forgot to say it earlier, but you're gonna boil your crab legs. They're already cooked, but you gotta boil them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna use this for because I think like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I really know, I really know what I'm doing. I just, I'm just all over the place right now. Okay, so now we're gonna do the, um, the measurements for the seasonings. I'm gonna use this big skillet, cause when you make your sauce, you're gonna add your shrimp in with the sauce. So I feel like this is gonna be big. Putting all my seasonings on this one plate and I'm gonna give you guys the exact measurements for each seasoning. Um, I wrote it down. I put my seasoning on the plate. I'm gonna read you guys each, like how many of each. Mostly it's gonna be four tablespoons, but Two tablespoons of obey, four tablespoons of paprika, four tablespoons of cayenne pepper, four tablespoons of garlic powder, three tablespoons of onion powder, four tablespoons of lemon pepper, four tablespoons of slap your mama, or you can do any Cajun seasoning that you actually prefer. I prefer slap your mama. And two tablespoons red chili flakes and one tablespoon of dry oregano. So, I'm putting that in the description box, but I'm putting all my seasonings on a plate. Because once I put them on the plate, I'm just going to dump it in with my butter. But we haven't got to that because I want all this to boil first. So that can just be there. So once I put all my seasonings on here, that's when I'm going to cut up my sausage and peel my shrimps. So that can be ready. Because we do have to, you have to cook your sausage. I'm going to cook my sausage with no seasoning. Just because we're going to have all this sauce seasoning that's going to be on there. So I'm going to cook it with no seasoning. But when we get there, I'm going to show y'all. So... Y'all really can't see me putting the season on there. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't measure for me. I don't measure, but I did the measurements for you guys. So, yeah. But I kind of go based off of it. Like, I know which ones to put more of and which ones not to put more of. So, so I'm gonna show you guys. So, this is my seasoning plate. Started from Obey, paprika, cayenne, onion, and garlic, lemon pepper. Um, I think they'll slap your mama chili peppers and oregano. So that's what I'm going to put all into my butter to make the sauce. 
but we're not gonna do that right now. But I'm gonna show you guys what the potatoes are looking like with the bag. As you can see, like the color in it is from the bag. And then my eggs are still boiling. So this is the brand I'm using. Cause like I told you guys, it's the day before Thanksgiving and there was not a lot of stuff in the store. So beef smoked sausage is what I'm using. That's, um, this is for my mom and whoever else needs it because I don't eat meat. And since she don't want a spicy baby, I don't want my sausage, I ain't gonna put a lot in there. And my hand is, ooh. Wee, 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 wee. Let's just cut. Boom. So, oh. sausages um so i'm gonna put these aside as well and we're gonna start peeling the shrimp i'm gonna do that off camera because i'm trying to bake i only use two bags of shrimp or one so yeah if i'm using two bags i'm gonna have to up the seasonings so i'm gonna um peel those and then i'll be okay so the eggs are done boiling so we're gonna set those to the side and then i'm gonna peel them a little bit later I am now going to add my corn into my potatoes. As you guys can see, this is what it's looking like. Yeah. So, we're gonna add corn. There's six pieces in here. I think I'm just gonna add, I mean there's, I'm sorry. There's eight pieces in here. Oh wait, hold on. There's 12 pieces in here, because they're this size. So, one, two, three. Ooh, this might be too much. That's too, too big. Okay. So I'm gonna let three boil in here, because if, I'm about to show y'all. It's already to the top, so I don't want it to like overflow. So I'm gonna use the same pot right here to boil about four more. So we're gonna put the eggs up and the eggs are boiling. No, the corn, the potatoes and the corn. We're gonna let those boil. I'm gonna finish peeling my shrimp and I'm gonna start peeling these as well. So now we are going to cook our sausage. When I cook my sausage, I like to use olive oil a tad bit. A cat full. Remember y'all, you're not gonna season it. My eggs peeled and my shrimp peeled. Baby, let me tell y'all something. When it comes to peeling eggs, I'm the worst. And honestly, we can, on this, on this one, we can start with the sauce. Never a day in my life had I had to use all four burners to cook. Honey, I'm cooking. Let me show, let me show y'all what I got whipping up. Sausage that I'm not eating. I didn't find no vegan sausage. My potatoes and my corn. And this is where the seasoning's gonna go. So we're gonna get ready on them. Okay. So I'm using butter sticks. You're gonna need about, depending, it really depends how much you're cooking for, maybe three or four. I'm gonna start off with three. And I do recommend using butter sticks and not like the other butter. Let this melt, and my burner works quick, and so I'm just gonna mix up the sauce. It's like caved in and eating meat. Psych! So the butter's already starting to melt. So we're gonna let all this melt. We're gonna add in our shrimp with this. And then once it melts, this is when you're gonna cook it on low. Right now, it's on like in between. It's on a medium so that it can get melted. First of all, let me show y'all my eggs and how I peeled them. So don't laugh at me, y'all. Yeah, oh, hold on. Y'all see this? 
That's not a how you peel an egg, baby. I feel like I only got like a few perfect eggs. But I'm going to add a, <clears throat> add a little bit more seasoning because it's not enough seasoning. I know y'all see that butter. <laughs> okay. For me, you already have garlic powder, but I'm going to add two full spoonfuls. I honestly, I don't like this. But... Cause you don't want it too, too garlicky, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we got the butter. Now we go in and add the seasonings that you have prepared. You add those in. And then you stir. I'm gonna show y'all once I finish stirring. Cause I know y'all can see, but like, can y'all see, see? <laughs> y'all, it's my dog for me. <laughs> so here, you turn it on low and add your shrimp in. And yes, my hands are clean before you little rat people say something. My hands are very much clean. I literally just washed them. Okay. I know y'all see, but I want y'all to see a little bit more. So here, this is what everything is. So you're just gonna cook this. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and then like not hold the thing. So this is what your seasonings and the shrimp. This is what you mix in first. The sausages are done. So we're gonna remove those and then start boiling our crab legs. Our potatoes are still boiling. And so is the corn. So right now this is this and the crab legs are the next things that just need to be finished. So we're gonna go ahead and put our focus on those. You see? So cook that on low. And let me get my crab legs. Okay, so I have the water and the crab legs, as you guys can see. And if you guys can see here, my shrimp is cooking. It is on low. So just remember to keep this on low until everything is done. Pretty much we just have this left. So I'm gonna add, I'm going to add this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add this and not my bag. So I'm just gonna pour, that should be enough. And let that spread around and we're gonna let that boil just until I'm ready. And I'm not gonna have it on, well, I'm put on high for now and then once it starts boiling, I'm gonna keep it on like medium. And then we'll put everything else in one big pan all together. Um, this is all the sauce. We probably might need a little bit more sauce cause we have crab legs and everything. And I only use one bag of shrimp. Usually I would use two. The only reason I would use two is because if it was a shrimp boil, but since I added crab legs, I toned it down to one. So we're just gonna let this cook my corn and finish cooking. And then that's when we're gonna, this is gonna come into play. This is really, really big, but we're gonna put everything in here so that we can put everything in the oven to mix together and everything. So I'm gonna let that cook and I'll be back. Oh. My potatoes are where I want them to be. My crab legs are still cooking or boiling. The shrimp actually looks like it's um, pretty much done, but it's still on low. I'm gonna turn my potatoes down and I want my corn to cook a little bit more because I want them to be a little bit softer. So, I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Hey, 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 Okay, so if y'all know me, y'all know I like to try my food. So before we mix everything together, but we need to try this mother sauce. Cause it's, I'm gonna try a shrimp. Cause the shrimp has been uh, marinating in it. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared because I swear to God, like when I be cooking, I be like, man, what if it don't taste good? Like what if like, cause you know you gonna like your cooking sometimes. Like majority of the time you gonna like your cooking. Let me see. That right there, boy, that's how you make some sauce. Anyways, usually you are supposed to mix it in a pan first, but I literally don't have a pan big enough or a pot big enough to mix everything together. So 
That's where this is about to come into play. We're about to mix everything in here, y'all. Honestly, we can go ahead and dump the potatoes and the corn in here. Don't, don't. Think about laughing at how I feel my eggs, period. This is really, really big. Okay. Let's do the potato. I want them to be. So let me grab this bag, first of all, without knowing. Put my potatoes in here. Use that. Corn in here. Ah! You add your crab legs in here. So, this is what it should look like before all the seasoning. The shrimp is not in there, of course, because it's cooking with the seasoning. So it looks like so good. So, oh, that's hot. You're gonna add this of everything. Make sure you get every drizzle drop. And then you're gonna mix that in together. I might have to make more sauce. Let me mix this up and I'm gonna show you guys. This is it. Put that in the oven. You're good. You don't have to put it in the oven. I choose to put it in the oven. Just because I'm gonna some more, I'm gonna make some more sauce. But this is what it looks. Excuse my dog. Okay, you guys, so I just took everything out the oven looking good. This is my extra sauce that I made. Oh, that's hot. Get the, get the food. So we're just gonna pour the sauce over the rest of everything. Like that. Not too much sauce because there's already a lot of sauce in the bottom. then mix everything together i'm struggling a little bit yeah so oh, so you didn't mix anything <laughs> hold on y'all can see i have a wait okay so make sure your eggs is in the oh i told y'all i did bad peel of my eggs Put that corn in there. The, the shrimp is good because it was marinating in the sauce already. So just make sure everything else is in there. Your potatoes, corn. There we go. So this completed. No, all the way up so I can, you can see me. A little bit up, a little bit up. So this is how you make, for me. So this is how. Should I have the worst cameraman? I'm sorry, guys. Please fire me. <laughs> Please. All right, this is how you make the flawless seafood boil. This is my recipe. I hope you guys check this out and cook. And if you do, let me know and tell me how it tastes. Me and my mom are going to ha eat it. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy it. So I thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. And comment any videos that you guys want to see me do, cook, anything. Okay? Mwah. See you in my next video.